Hi, I'm Mike Vierink, and today we're going to be doing a flow test procedure for the SPR 2000 system. For this demonstration today, we have an SPR 2000 system with six solenoid valves attached, and we also have a three gallon pressure tank. Uh, for this demonstration, we will be using water for our fluid. Uh, obviously, in your application, you will most likely be using a lubricant of some sort. With an SBR2000 system, we include a user manual and a flow test kit. I'll pull the user manual out first, and then I'll show you the contents of the flow test kit. We've got a length of polyurethane tubing. Uh, the length of tubing that we supply is the average length of the tubes on your system. So if you have a 10 feet of tubing on your system, you'll have 10 feet of tubing in your flow test kit. And you'll also notice that this piece of tubing has a quick disconnect fitting on one end of it. We also have a 500 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder. And we also include, generally inside that cylinder, a dispenser tube assembly. And this dispenser tube assembly is the same dispenser tube style that's installed in your uniroller system. Well, once you have all the plumbing connections uh, between your uh, tank and your SPR2000 valve stack, uh, you'll need to c connect compressed air. Uh, we shop air is fine, 100 PSI. Um, we run it through a regulator on our tank, and then we have a pressure gauge here so that we can uh, see what the pressure is in the tank. For this demonstration, I've got the pressure set at about 5 or 6 PSI. Uh, it's pretty low pressure setting, but we're using water for this demonstration, so we don't need a lot of pressure to push the fluid through the valve stack. Now that we've got our pressurized fluid connected to our solenoid valves, we can start putting together the flow test kit. So I've got the piece of tubing and the dispenser tube assembly, and the, the end of the tubing that does not have a quick disconnect fitting, we can plug right into our dispenser tube assembly. And then the quick disconnect fitting, we can plug into the top solenoid valve and the solenoid valve stack. We can also grab our graduated cylinder and put the dispenser tube assembly inside the graduated cylinder. So what we're trying to do here is uh, measure how fast the fluid is flowing through the solenoid valves at a pressure that our tank is at. So we want to know how much fluid flows through each valve with the tank at 5 or 6 PSI that we have it set at right now. Obviously with your fluid, your lubricant is going to be thicker than water most likely, so your pressure will be higher. But this goal is the same. You just want to be able to measure how much fluid is flowing through the valves. In order to calculate how much flow we get out of each of the solenoid valves, we need to open one of the solenoid valves for a certain amount of time and collect all that fluid in the graduated cylinder. And then we'll divide the volume of fluid that we get by the amount of time that we keep that solenoid valve open. And that'll give us our flow rate per second. The simplest way to open the solenoid valve for a uh, given amount of time is to utilize the prime button. The prime button will open all of the valves for as long as you hold the button down. So in this case, what we'll do, and this is what the manual recommends also, is to hold the prime button down for 30 seconds. And while we're holding that prime button down, we'll be collecting all of our fluid in this graduated cylinder. At the end of 30 seconds, we'll let go of the prime button and look to see how much fluid we have. Now I'll push the prime button down and we'll have some air in the system that we'll need to get out. So as we push the prime button, the tubing, you can see there's some air bubbles in the tubing and we'll just continue to hold the prime button down until we purge out all the air bubbles out of the line. Once I don't see any more air bubbles, I'll stop and I'll empty out my graduated cylinder. And now I know my tube is 
full of fluid, so I know I'll get an accurate reading on my 30 second time period. So I'll start that time period now by pushing the prime button again. So now we're at the end of 30 seconds and I let go of the prime button and I look at how much fluid I have in the graduated cylinder and I'm at about 210 milliliters or cubic centimeters. Uh, one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter. So in the SPR 2000 system, we ask for it in cubic centimeters per second, um, which is essentially how many milliliters you have. So we have 210 milliliters of fluid that we collected in the 30 second time period. So now we'll divide 210 by 30, and that will give us our flow rate per second. Now that we've measured our flow rate of our fluid, we need to enter it into the SPR 2000 system. We do that by pushing the config button. And then as you look at the menu options here, option number three is config auto setup or configure auto setup. So we'll enter number three. And then the next menu, the first option is calibrate flow. Option number one, so we'll push number one. Here it says to enter the measured flow rate the default value is 10 cc's per second. We calculated our flow rate at 7 cc's per second, so we just need to enter number 7. We can put in a point zero uh, because that's we we happen to hit an even you know whole number. But uh, if yours comes out to 7.2 or 7.3, that's fine. You can put that that decimal point in there. Once you've entered it, push enter three times and that will get you back to the main screen and that will save your flow rate for your fluid at the pressure that we've got our tank set at. It's important to remember that if you change the pressure that your tank is set at or if you change lubricants and your lubricant has a different viscosity that you redo the flow test, uh, test and calculation uh, to get a new flow rate and you need to enter that new flow rate into the SPR 2000 system.